actually died on the last one. I didn't film it because I didn't think I was going to die, but it turns out I could have possibly died. <sighs> I feel actual sick. If you fall off this cliff, you're off this cliff for good. You're dead. You're RIP. In the heart of South Australia's vast outback lies the charming and iconic Benderby Ranges. The working station and home to the toughest four-wheel drive tracks the state has to offer. Up steep mountains, huge rocks and along terrifying ridgelines, it will put any experienced driver on the edge of their seat. Another incredible part of Australia ticked off our bucket list. Proudly supported by Ultimate 9, Tread, Opus Campers, Superior Engineering, and in part by It's about lunchtime, we just made the drive into our camp spot here they've given us for the next few nights, about oh, 5Ks from reception. So how it works is you've got like powered and main campsites back at the station reception, and they've got uh, campsites scattered all out through this ranges here everywhere. So they sort of give you one, you come out, get your spot, and you're just out here in the middle bush, no one around. We checked in at reception, obviously when we got here about an hour ago and went through all the place, they give you maps. Heaps of details, all the tracks. Very, very nice people, super helpful. They got water there too, so I've topped up the camper trailer for the next few nights, and they got shower blocks back there as well, so I'd say we'll duck back uh, probably once a day while we're here to have ourselves a shower. This is the map they give you. They got two ranges here. They went through it all with us at reception, but they got the Bendleby ranges, and then they got the Hungry ranges. The tracks are all marked, like low through to high. So the Bendleby Range is more like your touring, sightseeing, easy one. And then the Hungry Ranges are more like your, you know, a bit more challenging full driving one. And this is where we're camped up here at this site 21. And there's reception back there. Any thoughts and words on the place so far? My first thoughts were how accommodating and lovely the owners are. Charlie and... Kylie. That was my first thought. The second thought was, um, freaking excited to do all these tracks. Kai said this is basically like a theme park for me. All yeah, different literally. rides and tracks everywhere. Yeah, yeah. and I'm, I'm just, I feel like I'm just as excited. And then my third thought was so beautiful out here. Love the camp spot they gave us. We'll drop some air out of the tyres down to around that 15 psi mark. We'll start there and we're gonna go for a drive now through this Bendleby Ranges area, the more scenic touring section and see what we can find, check out some of the views. First track, and this one's meant to be the hardest one in this Bendleby section, it's a link track, only about a kilometre from camp. We've come around the corner and quite a nice, uh, yeah, steep little hill climb here with a few holes. Section number two here, it's actually got a good little uh, rock steppy bit at the top there. I'll just crawl up it. First gear low, I reckon there should be plenty of traction there at least. He's up, plenty of grip. About to go up a hill, there's a bit of a step at the top. Got my rear locker on, low range, first gear. Pray for me, please, pray for me. She's just crawling up there. 
as the GU does, as we expect. All the security gear and them Harrop lockers are really putting in the work. Oh well, my goal is then, eh? See how it goes. So I'm just low range, I don't have any lockers at the moment, so I've got an LSD in the rear and open diff in the front. No reduction gear, just low range. A bit of diesel torque, you know, just chug up the hill. No wheel spin, what else can you ask for? Textbook. We come out the top of that link track and popped over to Monument Track and we're on like this ridge line across these running hills now and absolutely amazing views from up here, super cool. Fairly steep down off this other side here. I'd chuck it in low range, babe, just for a bit more control. Wow, it's crazy nice. You know how your first gear low and still need the brakes a fair bit in the auto petrol? I'm second gear low and I don't need to touch the brakes. That's right. Yeah, that reduction gears and diesel, big difference. What does diesel and petrol have to do with it? Like, they're just different, like, juice to put in the car. This all has more compression. Uh, it has more effort, like strength in slowing the car down. Why though? So a petrol engine has like 180 psi compression and a diesel has like four, 500. Why? Because diesel burns under pressure and heat and petrol burns with spark. That is a whole different type of engine. So why do people want petrol over diesel? Or why do people buy petrol over diesel? Down off the tracks out there now. There's definitely more touring in that area, but if that's what you're into, some really nice drives through there. How was the showers, babe? Well, when I first got here, I was like, oh, here we go, another bloody lukewarm shower of. Wow. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, <laughs> but my point was, I, I will, I will come back here just to have a shower here. They're new, they just got made them. Normal showers, whatever. But then you walk in, and it's like you're in a bloody resort. Come look. Like, look, look at that. Copper piping, a really good shower head that actually has hot water and pressure. Like, look at these little bits and pieces that they've done. That's this well done. and this. I, I, just, I just really like it. I, the whole time I was showering, I was like, oh my God, tick this, put this on my list of when I renovate our house. All right. Shower review by Demi. Let's go get catch the sunset. Let's go have a drink. Made it up the top of this sunset hill here. Pretty spectacular spot. 360 degree views all around. And they've built this super cool monument here. All shaley rocks. And then if you're standing on the other side, you're looking back at the sun. And as the sun drops, you can watch it through there, over the mountains. Little mountain top sunset cook up. What's on the menu? Spiced rum. That's your dinner. Perfect. How nice is it up here? It's crazy. crazy There's not uh, too much wind. That wind, wind seems to be dropping off a little bit too, which is nice. Yeah, it's gone all like, like, like dusky. It's so nice. Yeah. There's a few other people up here. Seems to be the hot spot in Bendelby this afternoon. Yeah.
That was a super awesome sunset up on that hill last night. Really cool. And that statue they've built watching the sun come down through, that's amazing. The plan today is, so there's a reception where a few k's up this way. The plan to come down into this and do this elk track here, which is marked out for us. That's the one that Ronnie Dahl and Sidetrack opened up maybe about six months ago now. It's still not really an official marked track, but he gives people permission to use it depending on what vehicles they have and setups and capabilities and all that because it's quite a harder track than anything else at the park he said so we're pretty keen and excited we're gonna get out there and see how we go i think it took them like three or four days to open it up but obviously we're not opening it we're just driving it charlie said it'd probably take a full day to drive it because a fair bit of like spotting and technical bits but we'll see how we go We made it to the start of what we think is this Elks track, Elk Hill. Um, because it's not a properly marked registered track yet, it's still pretty overgrown and you're just kind of looking for the faint tracks through the bush here. So we're in this little creek run. You know, there's a few uh little trees you got to dodge, a few little flexy rocks you got to go, it's not too bad so far. We started off on the elk, elk track. Currently in the creek bed, it's no water. It's actually eek, not elk. I knew it! A-E-K-E. -E. I knew it was that! I said to him, I don't think it's elk track, I think it's like eek or something. And then he just comes running back and tells me, it is eek. There's no water, it's a few It is a name to get wrong and mispronounce, I'll do it. Nice little rocky section so far. It's nothing crazy, but. Might have to chug a log in there. But yeah, nice little rocky section there to cruise through. That was good fun. What's, what's happened here? Well, I was driving some hectic tracks and I accidentally slid beside the rock and pushed it out of the way and then it got my tyre. That's the fourth Maxxis Razor I've done between these two cars in... 
That's not a max of razor problem, but any I'll tie you, would do that. I'll tell you what you need. What? Yeah, good year. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what you need. Good line choice. <laughs> I don't know how to drive. Oh, yeah, no, no, it's, not, it's not your fault. Hmm? Pillow so you can in, in, in that sort of territory, you have to be real careful where you put your tyres. So, yeah, tyre down, chunk out the sidewall. You can hear it coming out. Do you want me to? Do you want me to change the tyre? Do you want me to change the tyre? Oh, what, Nick? You don't want me to? Oh, okay, okay, that's fine. So we're out of the first section of that elk track, the creek run area, and then you hit this other road here and then it shoots off the side, so, side somewhere up that hill. But yeah, we obviously have to quickly change this tire, put the spare on, and then we'll keep going. Also, if you're wondering what the rattle is in every clip on this car, it's that. So if you're wondering, why is the car rattling? That's why. It's not the suspension, it's not what we've done, it's not this, it's not that. Yeah. It's a freaking real tire. I just want to do a disclaimer that I said I would do this tire, but they said no, it's fine. Just, just so you know. We're Dem up. Demi, the non-car girl, just got a flat tire in the creek, mate. Took a sidewall out. No, she, she's putting in work, but she's she's having a go. She's getting it done. She got to the top of that creek, but yeah, took a tire out with it. So she's been thrown in the deep end. Look, she's doing pretty good. I pulled but, the beadlock bolt out, they weren't anti seize so I had anti seize all the beadlock bolts, retentional, you know. Lovely work to have installed those. I just effed a tyre, and now I don't want to drive anymore. This next section is straight back in the creek again, but instantly a little bit more challenging. Rocks are slightly bigger, light lines are slightly tighter. Pretty off camber here. This is good. First gear low, got those reductions in, putting in work. And then I've just got a rear locker in just to help keep it rolling in a nice smooth motion. Hey, stop, stop, stop. That's like straight into your bull bar. On the Charlie's on the thing. Yeah, we're good. We're, they're just um, spotting me to get through this uh, elk track, I think it is. Righto. Cool. Uh, I hope it goes well. Uh, you've got a radio stick, you can give me a response if you need anything, but otherwise, enjoy. Yeah, righto. Easy done. Good Bloody Charlie, mate, the owner. Just checking sure checking in on us. Uh, probably just chuck your rear locker in too if you haven't. It'll just help you, like, nice forward momentum through it all. You're going to kind of aim for that bush, you get to the bush and then you're going to start turning left yeah. and obviously you're going to come into the creek and then see how you can see the two rocks there and that big one? Yeah. Your left tyre wants to go up that and then your right tyre is going to go through it. Where you get to where right, Tyler is. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, so your left tyre will be through with that, this right one will be on your right side. I'll stand there and spot you. But you want your right tyre just not in the bank but just in the line. You want your feet, so come right here. Wait, which way is right? Right down. Wait, what's right? Okay. Yeah, I got it. Okay. 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 Okay
this is a good little one here now we've got a sort of steep off camber drop down into the creek a rock wall and right there you don't want to fall in into this creek we come in it's a bit off camber a bit of a little rocky gully with a step halfway up and once you get in there so we'll see how it goes How's this one look, mate? Where if I didn't have a rooftop? <laughs> <laughs> look, it is pretty steep. Well, there's a step, but it's not like it's grippy. Yeah, it's plenty of grip. I reckon it's just, a bit steep. You just have to hold like a nice momentum through it, like nothing crazy, but yeah. it's like a vertical rock wall. <laughs> there's a track around it. This is kind of the bonus line, so you don't have to do this rock wall, but I'll give it a little crack. It's a bloody steep one, but too. Though. Was that the right momentum, you reckon? I, what gear was that? Because I reckon you'll be sec second gear. Do you reckon first with a bit more revs or second? I just, you can take off in second. <laughs> well, sure right. not. It worked. <laughs> that was just uh, second gear center up a little bit <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I think that was something in the front Did it hit something or is it just... I think the tyre grabbed when it. When it come up, I think the bar came Cause down. It was back because that's bent, so this was back. From that rock earlier yeah. and then it's grabbed your tyre and pulled it in. So the plan is to use my winch to pull his bull bar back out a bit and my winch goes out and works, but now for some reason it won't go in. Solenoid or something. There you go. <laughs> Get scared, but 
So, two lines, straight up. Like you don't want to go too far left, you just want to stay on that ridge, boost, straight up. Okay. You want const constant momentum. That's it, the easiest. <laughs> yeah, automatic life. It's literally so much easier. Well, you make me look like an yeah, idiot. <laughs> it's not hard, mate. It's not hard. <laughs> so after that steep rock wall, you're sort of pretty much cruising steepish. Not super steep, but steepish. Up the mountain, little tight track through the rocks and that here. And then we're very close to the top now. I can see it up there. Views are starting to get pretty good. Nice job, boy. I don't want to do that again. Why, are you scared? I don't like it. Which part? What do you have to say about that? I'm not a car girl. I'll shut your mouth, then. <laughs> I'm a passenger princess. <laughs> <laughs> so, that track took us about three hours, I think, with a tyre change and filming. Yeah. And a full bar reset. Full, full bar, bar reset. reset. If you're just cruising along doing it normally, a couple of hours it pulled up, no drama. Yeah, don't need locks. Yeah, but I did unlocked, but a nice little a patrol nice LSD. LSD. Oh, yeah, everyone just take a second here. You see these here? You see these here? Rabbits. Rabbits. In memory of Gary, right there. <laughs> Gary, yeah. there's rabbits up here at the top, you're missing no. out. So we made it up the top here. Pretty spectacular views all out over the ranges, and yeah, ended up being a super cool track. Wait, is that. That's not the top up there, is it, where that rock pile is? Probably. There's not a track in front of you. We're not actually at the top. <laughs> the top's up there, but it just looks like a crazy track up to the top. So we're at, we're at mini top. Let's go to actual top. Wait, no, wait. Literally. Yeah, 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 go, go, go. Right, we need to film, we need to show you how you park. Yeah, yeah, show my park. Man, that's a sick park. My door was like impossible to open. How am I supposed to get up there now? That's the best park you've ever seen. <laughs> So yeah, we'll cruise the last few minutes up to this top bit. Only a couple hundred meters, but she's quite bloody rocky, I tell you that. How cool is this though? Just incredible views and like on a bit of an untouched sort of hill up here. I don't even really know where I'm driving at times, I'm trying to dodge all these rocks. Feels like exploration up here. Shout out to Ronnie and the Sidetrack boys who opened this track up. It's a pretty good one. Here we are up the top top now. What a big rock pile there that they've built. That would have taken a long time. <laughs> we'll chill up here for a little while and enjoy these 360 degree views of the Hungry Ranges and have some lunch and take it in. We're on our way back down this mountain now, cruising along this ridge line. You can see they've bashed and moved and packed a lot of rocks building this track. So you can see why it took them a bit of time. <laughs> you know, it took us three hours to get up here, it took them three days of track building.
So we're off that track now. We just pulled the fence down at the end and drove over and onto this other track, which is what Charlie said to do. And uh, yeah, we're out. It was a good track in the end. What did everyone think of the Elk Hill and the descent and the track in general? Yes, it was cold, but uh, it, it was good. It was scary. I am scared. Eek, Eek Hill, isn't it? That's the one. I'll get there one day. That's the Eek track we just did. Through the creek, second section up there, and then back down. We're coming along. We just pulled up here, having a bit of a look at the map. We're thinking we'll do this Red Loop, the Savo, the Hungry Highway, and then back through the Quartz Gorge and out to camp. And then tomorrow we'll come and do like Billy Goat Ridge and Pat's Peak and the other good ones out here. And that'll sort of give us another hour of driving or so the Salvo and then time to go back, have showers and get a fire going at camp. sharp narrow ridge line and just incredible views all around you and now we're dropping very very steep down the other side which is pretty cool locker in first gear low and uh yeah head off down here hey birdo what do you rate this track what is this track even called I think this is King's Gorge, isn't it? No, it's Hungry, hungry Highway. Track hungry, hungry Highway. Oh, is this a Hungry Highway, is it? I think so. No, it is. We don't think. I quite like it. There's good views, you know, there's moderate four wheel driving uh, experience here. Yeah, I feel like this is like what I like doing. This is scenic, a little bit of extra than just a dirt road, but, the, but not like shit myself scary, you know? I don't know about you, but I'm so keen for those amazing showers that they have. They just have one, one every two days to uh, Debbie, so you've missed your chance. Yeah, one every two days to you guys, but I get one every day because I'm the best and I'm a female and females are the best. And we are back at camp. Absolutely awesome day on the tracks. We all really loved and enjoyed that. Elk, no, Eek. Wow, I'll never get it right. Eek Hill, Eek Track. How did you enjoy the day on the tracks? I really liked it. I felt like it was fun, exciting, got the adrenaline going. It was a bit scary, I'm not going to lie, but I feel like overall it was a good day. Good day. We'll get this fire going and enjoy. We've got the Nike hammock set up, fire's going, sun's disappeared over the hill there, and we are about to cook what? Eggs on toast. Mm, delicious. Four bananas, so I've done four eggs, five tablespoons of oil, and then Tyler said two teaspoons of cinnamon, but I'm just gonna fling it in. It does any. Any cinnamon haters out there, it's not a video for you to watch. <laughs> so the reason we have so much here is because we made pancakes the other day and 
like we had so many pancakes, but then everyone was still hungry. So we made a mega mix this time. Now we'll sit by the fire, have my peach iced tea and my pancakes. Enjoy the serenity of life with four kids. Help. The plan this morning is to come into back into reception here, down here, and then follow this ridge top one and do this loop and then up this Billy Goat Ridge, which is the famous one I suppose here at Bendelby Ranges or the Hungry Ranges part of Bendelby Ranges. And then we'll go along Kings Ridge and down Pat's Peak. So Pat's Peak and Billy Goat Ridge are both a 10 out of 10. Cruising along this ridge track now, ridge top, I think ridge top track. So yeah, it takes you up a ridge, up to the top, some good views from up the top and then down the other side. A few nice little sections on it, nothing too extreme. Made it to the start of this Billy Ridge track. Is it Billy Goat Ridge something? I honestly forget. <laughs> but you can see it out behind me there. We're right at the start here, the track drops off for a bit and then just heads right up the side of that ridge line with super cool views. It's rated a 10 out of 10, so I think it's meant to be a few steps and holes and little technical bits along the way. Pretty keen to get into it. First nice little segment and rock step here on the track, we'll climb on up. Pretty steep and there's drop offs on either side, so you, you know, you don't want to get it wrong. <laughs> Ridge. First is a rock step and then a few wombat holes. First gear low with the rear locker on. I sound like a pro but I have no idea what I'm doing. So let's just win. She's on that lower control arm. hard it's just like bad angles and like I can't see anything so that's why I freak out pretty good views Nice it's couple, like of, nice if couple you didn't of sections. If you didn't have 35 and 4 inch, you'd, uh, you'd be a bit like, eh. Oh, IFS 32s. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd be having fun. Yeah. yeah.
pretty good climb here, continuing up the side of this mountain. Super spectacular views. And we've got a nice rock garden in front of us here. makes you so anxious at times and like it's scary but once you've done it you feel way way better about the whole thing and you're like wow I've actually done that yeah. I get a sense of like accomplishment and it feels good to do it and be like oh my god I've, I did that that's Top of that Billy Go Ridge track now. Super cool track, like really coming, really worth coming out here and doing. Now we're cruising along King's Ridge in the hurricane winds up here. It's so windy, you'd see all the dust coming off the cars everywhere. Goat Ridge and then up on Kings Ridge. It's nice views. If you made one mistake on that Billy Goat, mate. Yeah, you're off. It's, it's nothing too technical, but if you did make a mistake, gone. Deep hills on both sides and like if you rolled, you'd be rolling like a couple hundred meters. 20 times. So. Yeah. It's one of those ones you just got to be careful on, you know. It'll take your time. Pick your line. It's all about line choice. It's mostly a uh, hazard rating rather than a, uh, you know, complex rating. Now, where are we going? Where are we going? No, you tell a story, bro. No, no, you tell a story. You're a dog. We're going Pat's Peak, bro. Pat's Peak. Yeah. We're on Pat's Peak now. Very steep up that side. And I think it's even steeper down the other side. see why people talk about the drop down from Pat's Peak as being fairly gnarly because it is. She's bloody steep. She's bloody steep. and like rocky and on the edge of a freaking cliff but we did it yay i have no idea if you can hear anything this wind is literally insane we're nearly getting blown up <laughs> this hill yeah. 
free save. Yeah. Just drop in, pick a line. I'm first gear, low range on the brake, you know. Couple of big steps. Couple of things. Fast forward a few hours, we're down off that Pat's Peak. Super awesome day out on the tracks there. I think we all really enjoyed it. Good mixture of views and challenging full driving. Just obviously that wind was pretty full on and it's still pretty windy here this afternoon, but we came through, had showers. We actually hung a reception for a little while. Very nice of them to let us use it there because uh, they have Wi-Fi and I caught up on a bit of editing and work stuff because we are trying to obviously film and then edit these <laughs> videos on the road as we go chilling at camp enjoying this afternoon got the fire going plenty of flies around still but hopefully they go away soon hopefully this wind will die off soon and i'm on cooking duty <laughs> i'm cooking us chicken and egg sandwich wrap burgers vibes and the kids are having noodles and we've got eggs rocket Cucumber, avocado, QP, cheese, and our amazing, uh, what do you call this? Chaos draw bag. What, no, but is, what is it, cutlery? Well, yeah, it's like a cutlery set we got off them. Yeah. Being our cups, plates, bowls for the trip, pretty, pretty handy. And it's been a lifesaver with all the dust. Ugh! And they don't go away, they like, no matter how many times you like, shake it. Then it's just been over here raging while cooking dinner because of the like, flies. Like what the f why? It's like I've got a freaking dead body under the table or something. Just flop them all, like, fine, flies can live and be around. They can do their thing. But like, once I float, like do this, that's when you leave. You don't just stay in my eyeballs and expect to make a hotel out of it. They just do it for annoying. Good job, Zephy. Yeah. Yeah, everybody clap. Oh, that's a big one. Hold in. Yeah. yeah. Nice little dinner by the fire. Flies are starting to die down now, which is nice. We're going to sit back and enjoy the rest of this night, and that is the end of our Bendelby Rangers episode. We're going to head off in the morning, and we don't really know where yet. We've got to plan that out. What's your thoughts on... Bendelby Range is worth coming to check out. Yeah, I loved it. Everything about it. I feel like the tracks were hard enough to like be exciting. Nice scenery, nice people, nice camp spot. Good showers. Oh, amazing showers. Awesome time here. I definitely reckon we'll be coming back uh, one day and well worth coming here to check out Bendelby Ranges if you're anywhere in Outback South Australia. But well, that's the end of that episode. Bye. Bye. And then say bye to the camera. Goodbye, Jasper. Goodbye. Goodbye. You want my hand? Bye. Wait, wait, I'm gonna get trying to get this. Wait, that'll be epic. We have this. This. Yay! Bye, Zevi. Bye. Nah, he's off.